Hey YouTube, I just got in from my seminar for the 21 day raw food challenge which begins tomorrow. For those of you who don't know, I switched over to um, I switched over to being a vegetarian last year. I want to say maybe um, July of 07. And from that point on, I have lost about maybe 30 pounds. Um, I did have a period over this summer where I went back to consuming meat um, occasionally. But since then, I have went back to weaning meat from my diet, um, with the exception of fish. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, a local restaurant here in Baltimore, um, which is the Yaba Pot, a um, wonderful chef by the name of Sky who works there. I had the pleasure of doing an apprenticeship with her over the spring of 08. And during that apprenticeship, I learned a lot of um, good vegan, vegetarian recipes, which has helped me thus far. One of the things that Sky does is a 21-day raw food challenge, and she normally does it around the equinoxes of each year. So, well, I want to say the equinox and the solstices. So, the next one is the 21-day raw food challenge, which will be um, put into place for the winter solstice. So, the actual challenge starts tomorrow, which is December 1st, and it runs until December 21st. So basically, it's exactly what it sounds like, a 21-day raw food challenge. So for the next 21 days, I cannot consume any cooked foods. So basically, my diet will consist of raw fruits, vegetables, um, and nuts. Yeah, and I can do like flax seeds and things like that also. So with that being said, um, today I attended the seminar, and then I left the seminar and went and grabbed a few things from Whole Foods. So I'm preparing for that. I also decided that I would share my experience with you guys through this video blog. So I'll try to do um, a video each day of my progress and how I'm feeling. This is the first time I'm doing this challenge, so it's going to be um, a little hard for me just wrapping my mind around the concept of not being able to eat any cooked foods. But other than that, I think I should be okay with the help of YouTube and all of the um, raw vegetables the raw rest ah, I can't talk all of the raw recipes that I found online um, one that I'm looking forward to trying is the raw tacos so I'll probably do that tomorrow for either lunch or dinner so um, the first week it's a three-week challenge 21 days the first week it's all raw foods the second week um, it's going to be juicing um, for those people who are bold enough to try it it'll just be juice fruits and vegetables um, if you can't do juice, fruits, and vegetables, then you can do a smoothie or you can continue on with just eating raw foods. And then the third week, it'll go back to being raw foods. So I start tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to update you a bit on that. I'm going to, like I said, try to do it every day to keep you guys abreast of the situation, all of the detox symptoms, if I experience anything, um, all of that stuff. So hopefully I can make it through the entire 21 days because I know just saying I can't cook anything. It seems hard, but at the same time it doesn't. And I just don't want to get bored eating the same thing every day. So with the help of the internet and then all of the people that were at the seminar tonight, I should be able to pull through. I'm also going to volunteer at the restaurant a couple days a week. Um, just helping Sky in the kitchen, making a few salads and things like that. And that way I can have, a, you know, some ideas of what I can do at home to try to mix it up a bit. Because if I eat the same thing every day for the next 21 days, I'm going to drive myself crazy. Um, so, yeah. And then, oh, throughout the 21 days, there will be like seminars and potlucks and things like that where we can get together and um, share experiences and basically cheer each other on. Also, um, I was giving given a blog or like a Yahoo group I can go to. So it, it should be really supportive with the entire challenge. She's trying to do 500 people, um, not necessarily 500 people in Baltimore, but 500 people, I guess, nationwide who are willing to sign up and do this challenge for the next 21 days, which I thought was pretty cool. So we'll have people all over the world, I guess, going through this at the same time. <clears throat> and I know that, you know, eating raw is a nat natural healer for your body. So, like I said, I look forward to all of the ups and downs that I'm going to experience. And I also look forward to the bonding experience that I know will come out of this with um, the other people that are in my group. So, that's about it. 21 days. I'm going raw starting tomorrow. I just ate my last cooked meal for the next 21 days. 
what do I hope to gain out of this? Um, I don't want to necessarily say that I want to continue a 100% raw lifestyle after this point, but I would like to greatly increase the amount of raw foods that I eat on a daily basis. Um, even though I am, I want to say, a vegetarian, just because you are a vegetarian don't necessarily mean you eat vegetables, which my doctor pointed out to me um, when I told her that I was going, you know, switching over. And it's it's just human nature, I guess. You get addicted to carbs and sugars and things like that. So it's like you're not necessarily eating meat, but you're not necessarily eating a lot of vegetables either. I can say, like, um, I guess I've been doing pretty good because I lost 30 pounds and I was able to keep it off. But I would like to get myself, I guess, in pristine shape or as, as good a shape that I can get in, um, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I s I'm kind of excited about the 21-Day Raw Food Challenge, and then I'm also excited about doing this video blog because I've been wanting to do one since forever, but I felt like I didn't have anything to talk about. So now I can ramble on and on and on about what I ate each day, and hopefully you guys will watch it and enjoy and give me feedback. So starting tomorrow, December 1st, I will be embarking on my 21-Day Raw Food Challenge. Wish me luck, and I will keep you updated. Okay, YouTube. Peace.